What's up YouTube, this is GeForce from Bioside Gaming, with a quick video on the new Warbond and the new Stupersaur reset. First the C-17 Butcher is a new heavy armor with the medkit passive. Next up is the light armor, the CE-67 Titan. It has the engineering passive which gives you a couple extra grenades and has a little more armor rating than other light armors. Moving on to the new Warbond called Cutting Edge. There's the Bot Slayer player card and a new booster called Localization Confusion which increases the time between enemy encounters. I'm anxious to try this one out. The LAS-16 Sickle is an energy weapon that causes 55 damage and it's light armor penetrating and causes heat. XO3 Prototype 3 has a new passive called Electrical Conduit which provides 95% resistance to arc damage which is probably going to be helpful with all these new energy weapons being used out there. There's the Bot Slayer cape that matches the player card. The head tap victory pose, which I couldn't resist. The shotgun show victory pose, another one I couldn't resist. And the weapon I'm interested in the most, the G23 stun grenade. This weapon doesn't cause any damage, but it stuns all the enemies within its radius and has a 1.6 fuse time. The EX-16 prototype armor has the electrical conduit passive. This is the matching helmet. The Martyrus Rex cape. The SG-8P Punisher Plasma. Costs 100 damage. Has a capacity of 8, recoil of 110, and a fire rate of 80 with explosive rounds. This is the Martyrs Rex player card, moving on to page 3, the Agent Oblivion player card. The LAS Dagger is a pistol energy weapon, it causes 150 damage, has a fire limit of 5, recoil of 0. Another victory pose presentable. The Arc 12 Blitzer Shotgun. This is an energy weapon that causes 250 damage, has a capacity of infinity, recoil of 60, and fire rate. This is basically the arc thrower shotgun. The EX prototype armor has the electrical conduit passive. This is the matching helmet. The Agent of Oblivion cape. I wanted to see the difference between the CE-67 Titan, which has an armor rate of 79, and the CE-74 Breaker which has an armor rating of 50. So basically you get a little more armor with a little less speed and stamina retrend, but you still get that engineering kit passive with the extra two grenades. That's it for this quick review. For now, this is GeForce from Biosite Gaming, signing off.